Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see about uh, contaminants, toxins and residues regulation 2011. This regulation came into force on 1st August 2011. Um, here in this uh, regulation, there are two, two chapters are there. The first chapter is chapter 1, uh, definition, which gives a definition for what is crop contamination. And chapter 2 is a watch chapter and it has uh, uh, following things like uh, specific limits for metal contaminants such as lead, copper, arsenic, tin, cadmium, mercury, methyl mercury, chromium, nickel, selenium, antimonium in various foods and it also gives specific limits of crop contaminants such as total aflatoxins, aflatoxin B1, aflatoxin M1, aflatoxin A, powdering and deoxymethylenol and naturally acquiring toxic substances such as organic acid, hydrocyanic acid, hypercyan and safrol and, uh, for various food products and it gives uh, restriction on the use of insecticide details and specific limits of antibiotic and other pharmacologically active substances and specific limit for the biotoxins in the fish and fishery products and the Next one is the specific limit for the other contaminants such as melamine in the powdered infant foods and uh, liquid for infant formulas and uh, other foods uh, histamine in the fish and the fishery products. Here in this uh, chapter 2, I, I, I will recommend you to note down the important metal contaminations in the um, uh, uh, foods, uh, foods like basic foods which we use on regular basis like milk for fruits and vegetables like that I, I suggest you to, to write that values particularly in a note how much ppm just should be present like that and for uh, other uh, uh, for other food substances I just recommend you to just go through and uh, fix like it will come in this range like which I suggest you to, to study. Okay, uh, here in this uh, uh, contaminants, there are 15 amendments are passed and um, um, sorry for the inconvenience, uh, here in the uh, uh, FSSI, uh, in uh, FSSI standards for contaminants, toxins and residues regulation, there are 15 amendments are passed so far now. And the last amendment was passed on um, uh, 7th August 2020. And this uh, amendment is the uh, first amendment regulation uh, comes under the uh, first amendment regulation of 2020. And it came into force on the date of publication in the official gazette. So it came into force on 7th August 2020. And it um, uh, came into effect on the 1st July 2021. In this amendment, um, before seeing what, what changes they are made in amendment, we will just um, first see what is metal contaminant definition? What is crop contamination definition? Okay. Crop contamination means any substance not intentionally added to the food, but which gets added to the articles of the food in the process of their production, including operation carried out in the crop husbandry, animal husbandry, and in veterinary medicines, manufacture, processing, preparation, treatment, packaging, packaging, transport or holding of articles of such food as a result of environmental contamination. So they may ask, they may give this full sentence and ask what is this called. So we can uh, give, we can select as crop contamination. Next, chapter 2. Uh, metal contaminants means the chemicals described in the uh, chemicals are described in the monographs of the Indian pharmacophobia, which used in food and shall not contain metal contaminants beyond the limits specified in the appropriate monographs. 
from the Indian pharmacophobia for the time being imposed, notwithstanding the provisions of the regulation 2.1, no article of food shall be classified in the sorry. Um, here the um, uh, metal contaminants ranges are given by the Indian pharmacophobia. Uh, those who studied uh, uh, pharmacology, they know like um, uh, pharmacophobia is a, a website which contains most of the details relating to the uh, uh, pharmaceutical related uh, things. So I will just post this video in my uh, uh, telegram channel you can uh, uh, down, you can download it and you can just make a note of it what are the um, uh, levels many uh, uh, permitted ppm levels of the metal contaminants next Note uh, here in this uh, note, aflatoxin are present in cereals and cereal products, pulses, and nuts, dried fish, and oil seeds. And aflatoxin is mostly, uh, M1 is mostly present in milk. Ochrotoxin is mostly, ochrotoxin A is present in wheat, barley, and dairy, and its uh, limit. Poutalin, deoxy, melinol. And uh, naturally acquiring toxic substances like agaric acid. Note uh, this this note uh, sorry, just note uh, in which uh, articles they are found and what is the maximum limit. Uh, residues of the insecticides. They are provided that uh, nothing in this regulation shall comply to the humans uh, which are registered and recommended for the use of such articles of food by the registration committee constructed under the insecticide act. Here in this uh, residues, uh, there is no, uh, this regulation doesn't apply to the humans which we are using in the food industry for the fumigation purposes. For the fumians which registered on in the insecticide act 1928 next one the amount of intact insecticide mentioned in the uh, column two on the foods mentioned in the column three and uh, shall not exceed the tolerance limit which is prescribed in the column four like please make a uh, 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 which insecticide is used and mostly like for example for milk and milk products it should uh, it doesn't take it uh, 0.15 percent like that i suggest you to to take notes of uh, most commonly uh, used in insecticide and its tolerance limit for the most commonly used foods for others i suggest you to refer what is the range Um, the expression insecticide shall have the meaning assigned to the uh, what is the meaning they have in insecticide act and uh, um, maximum limit are expressed in kg in terms of uh, uh, milligrams per kg on the whole product basis all the foods refer to the raw agricultural products moving in the commerce next step antibiotic and other pharmacologically active substances the amount of antibiotic mentioned in the column 2 on the seafoods including shrimp prawns or any other varieties of fishery and fish products are not 
exit the tolerance limit mentioned in the um, column three. Here, um, uh, take note what are the antibiotics are used in shrimp, prawn, or other fish varieties. Next. The use of uh, any of the following antibiotics and other pharmacologically active substances shall be prohibited. Please note which of the following. Uh, please note the following antibiotics which are prohibited to use in the uh, seafoods. Uh, first one is all nitrofurans, including uh, um, fluoroton, fluorozodiline, furfuryl fumarate. Nitrofurfetal, nifuroxin, nifuroprisin, nitrofuriton, nitrofurazone, chloramphenicol, neomycin, nalitoxic acid, sulfur methoxyl, uh, aristocheria species, and preparation of therefore chloroform, chloromycin, uh, colchicin, dapson. Dimetridiazole, metrinidiazole, uh, rodinazole, ipronodizole, other uh, nitromidazoles, clenbutrol, diethyl uh, sibistrol, uh, sulfonoamide drugs, except approved. approved Approved uh, sulfonamide drugs are uh, sulfur dimethoxin, sulfur bromomethazine, and sulfur, sulfur ethoxyphyridazine, uh, fluoroflunolones, uh, and glycopeptides. These are uh, mostly prohibited, and their uh, uh, basic limit of quantification shall not exit. Uh, which is determined by using LCMS method. And the biotoxins, uh, please note what are the biotoxins present in the efficient fishery products. Paralytic selfish poisoning, amnesia selfish poisoning, di diuretic selfish poisoning, ulcer spirit poison and pyrotoxin and its maximum limits per uh, Muji per kg and other contaminants such as uh, melamine is mostly found in the milk products and uh, note its maximum limit for uh, powdered infant formula it uh, comes as uh, 1 mg per kilogram and liquid infant formula 0.15 mg per kg and other foods which are 2.5 um, here in uh, histamide is mostly related to fish and fishery products. Please note uh, which type of fishes are um, having high potential of histamine poisoning. And uh, limits of histamine in the fishery products. Uh, okay. uh, Thank you. If you have any doubts, uh, please uh, uh, post your questions in the comment box and I will answer it. Thank you.